Welcome back to the Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, we're going to talk about Halloween Horror Nights spec maps and talk about some rumored mazes that are coming to Halloween Horror Nights this year in the Universal Studios Hollywood. So this comes courtesy of HHN Nightmares on Twitter and Facebook. You can go check them out. Uh, the, uh, you can see their Twitter or their handle in the credits section on the picture. Here is our first look at our version one of our Hollywood spec map. We're going to go maze by maze and uh or sorry house by house and see uh what you guys think of them we're gonna start from the top where blum house is and then we're gonna end where the terror tram is so let's go ahead and start with blum house all right so in the water world queue again these are all rumors by the way all rumors so this map will likely will definitely change there's usually three versions before the actual show uh, actual event but the blum house maze is rumored to go in the water world queue and it's gonna have Ble megan and insidious this is just like the one in florida i am such a big fan of this i love megan i haven't seen insidious there's, there's a new one coming out and it's probably that's what it's gonna be based on but megan was fantastic i saw it two times so i'm excited to have megan and chucky in this year's event the only confirmed maze again has been chucky our house has been chucky and that was confirmed a few uh, right after hhn last year by Universal themselves. So uh, yeah, that one's for sure. But the rest are up in the air. But yeah, Megan and Blumhouse will be a water world queue. It'll be just like the other um, ones where it's half Megan and half Insidious. Last year, and they had something similar as well. What do you guys think of the Megan and Insidious maze? If it were to pop, let me know in the comments below. Do you like the Blumhouse mazes or do you want them to change it up a bit? Now the next one is The Last of Us, which is a fantastic show right now on HBO Max coming on every Sunday. There's a few more episodes left, I believe two more left before this first season is over. It's based on the video game by Sony and on PlayStation. I have not played it, but I definitely heard of it. It's a zombie apocalypse game and its rumored location is in the Walking Dead location, which is perfect because of course that location was all about zombies the walking dead just this time is a different and better in my opinion franchise so i'm all for the last of us on that last of us maze it makes perfect sense in this location because it's already set up for a zombie apocalypse type maze i'm sure they'll reuse some walking dead props in there and redress them a little bit to look like the last of us but all zombie apocalypses are about the same they're just going through abandoned cities and forests and stuff like that so it should be um pretty easy the only costly effort of this will be doing the clickers and bloaters which those are the names of the zombies if you watch the show and they look absolutely fantastic especially the bloaters in fact a bloater could be look potentially really scary in real life in this maze i'm very excited to see what a bloater looks like if this maze does in fact come to this location let me know in the comments below if you watched the last of us um i'm curious how many people watch either on hbo or hbo max um, i watch it every sunday right on the dot it's such a good show. Moving, moving on down to our third house out of 10 if you include the terror tram um the monster is a classic monsters in its usual location or back in its usual location la Yorona was there last year monsters was in the mummy queue now monsters is back up in the parisian courtyard with a parisian theme this one will be called classic monsters paris so be some parisian or european monsters maybe like dracula and different type of european monsters which sounds really really cool and it's themed perfectly because it's right in the parisian courtyard this is one even though it's uh, not a confirmed maze i think this is a uh, kind of a lock simply because there's all, usually always a monster maze in this location and it's in the Parisian courtyard themed to Paris. I think this is going to be a great idea. I usually like the classic monsters mazes. No, they're kind of mixed usually with some uh, fan reception, but I really like them. So I'm very excited for this maze or house, sorry, um, if it does in fact come in this uh, August or September. Moving on down, this is the maze in the mummy queue. These are the, if you watch the live stream for the HN Orlando spec map, I had no idea what these Japanese symbols meant, but looking at some comments online, that's uh, the, some are speculating this is Resident Evil, the game which was based in Japan. It's a Japanese game, um, also on PlayStation. Um, so that little Sony connection there with The Last of Us. But Resident Evil is also a, another zombie type uh, game. So this very likely, if this 
are the uh, these are the resident evil symbols it could be a zombie site maze other people were saying crypt tv and if that is that then that could be a crypt tv maze so it's uh either crypt tv or uh what should we call it resident evil this is also one for both coasts so i feel like it's kind of likely to show up here as well or likely to stay in the um let me know though if you know what those symbols mean and if you know like for sure please let us know in the comments below what that house actually is and then in the sound stage is a nightingale's remember nightingale's blood play blood, blood prey maze not entirely sure i think this is this was from what i was reading on an original in orlando a couple years ago and now it's could be coming here this would be basically our kind of only original maze actually except the clown well no that can be be an ip as well but this might be our only original maze this year um a scarecrow the reaping was an original from orlando got brought over here as well so yeah if it's anything like scarecrow i'm sure nightingales will be absolutely amazing because the orlando maze houses are high budget scarecrow was one of the best reviewed mazes and one of my favorite ma houses last year um so i'm again very excited for scarecrow or nightingales if it does come in the sound stage sound stage will be basically where sound stage 29 is it's where the weekend was last year and it looks like we might be seeing a return of the exorcist this would be in the lower lot 10 or killer crowns from outer space was last year now the exorcist is coming out with a new movie this year so it could could be based on that the new updated version or it could be just a repeat of the same maze that we had a couple years ago and which was a repeat of the same maze which was original at the time way back like in 2012 it's fantastic house um but uh yeah i don't know I, I, very interesting i'd hope actually they'd kind of incorporate some scenes from the new movie that's coming out uh, because that'll be updated for modern audiences and that might include some new tech so we'll have to see how that works out but yeah the exorcist could be coming back it is one of the a favorite even the original the original one was a favorite of many and even when it came back it was still a, a pretty good favorite so it could be making it it's another return although i see some people online were not excited for the exorcist so if the Ex exorcist does come back um are you going to be excited for it and do if it does come back would you want the same maze that we've gotten a couple times or do you want some new scenes added maybe from the up upcoming new movie this year moving on to this uh next maze this clown here the next two mazes are in the curious george tent by the way but um curious this clown i've heard two things i've heard it because you know universal is clearly working with warner brothers for the last of us and i've heard terrifier from the terrifier movies terrifier one and two terrifier two which did very very well this year no. could be either one i'd be down for either one but most certainly a clown house is coming in the curious george lot this year and uh, i know clowns are is very popular uh at halloween horror nights and a lot of my friends and a lot of people i know are scared of clowns so uh they are make a big uh, they make a big impression C clowns can be quite creepy but which one would you guys want terrifier or it or different clown uh, maybe hollywood hair i've seen some speculation this could be hollywood harry which is a clown as well let me know in the comments below i'll take either of them it would be cool to have hollywood harry though because he is a, like original hollywood icon it'll be something very exclusive to halloween horror nights hollywood and it's not an ip but i like it and i'm curious about terrifier if it is terrifier i have to see the movies because i have not seen the movies but i'm sure i can find them easily online next house is chucky it's been confirmed i'm sure it'll be based on the tv show um the first uh, couple seasons i believe those renewed for season three but i'm sure they'll have some elements of the child's play movies as well but the logo this is the this is the actual logo and the actual font for the logo that is the exact logo from the tv series chucky so i'm sure i'll have some heavy influence from that i love chucky i'm so glad he's not just in the terror tram this year but has his own house i'm very excited for that i've always loved child's play and um even the newer chucky movie child's play movie came out like, like 2018 2019 and I haven't seen the series, but I'll definitely check it out if you're ready for the maze here. Or house. Sorry. They used to be called mazes here in Hollywood, but last year they changed it to haunted houses. It took me a while to get used to, and still taking me a while to get used to. So that's why I'm kind of calling them mazes and houses, but the proper name 
as stated here in this uh, picture by HHN um, Horrors is Haunted House. Next up, we have our musical uh, house. Last year was The Weeknd, which was my one of my favorite houses of all time. So we have Slash. It looks so it looks like Slash. Slash is a frequent frequent collaborator in Halloween Horror Nights. Even did the music for the Legends Collide house yesterday or last year. This would also be in a sound stage. Um, I'm not sure if they'll be both in a sound stage, the uh, or like Nightingales or in Slash, or they'll be in two separate sound stages. I guess according to the map. They'll be in kind of the same sound stage. I don't know. It looks kind of the weird the ma the way the map is. Very very interesting. What locations are trying to do this year? But um yeah, I don't know. I like the weekend. I'm more of a hip hop or rap pop type of guy. Not the biggest fan of Slash, but I get it because he's a big collaborator with the Universal and they had a you know, hip hop dude last year. So it makes sense to go the other genre direction this year if they do in fact stick with Slash. Let me know what you guys think about Slash and a Slash Maze in the comments below and what you'd even do for a Slash Maze. I know the weekend obviously had his after hours Don FM. Sorry, after hours um no music video is very spooky, but I don't know much about Slash. I don't know what uh if he has any Halloween stuff. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. And lastly, we have the Terror Tram Celebrities, which is very interesting. I'm not entirely sure what this theme is going to be. Maybe, like, dead celebrities or something. I don't know, like, or zombie celebrities. Or, and you're, like, going to their, or maybe taking a tour, like, a Hollywood tour, like, the TMZ tour. They go to their houses when their zombies come. I have no idea. But the Terror Tram, hopefully, gets some sort of revamp because I know other people like it. But if you go on it every single year... It's just kind of end. It's always like the last thing that you want to do because it's just, um, you know, it's like it's kind of like a one and done for me all the time. I, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about the terror tram. It's fun to get off the tram, but then it's a lot of walking. It's not really scary, but I don't know. Hopefully, they change up the route this year or do something different. Not sure if the nope sets will be there this year or if they're gonna get demolished after or before. But I'm just curious what to do with the terror tram. I feel like it needs some sort of revamp. Let me know what you guys think of the terror tram and. The celebrities aspect of it, um, because theme being themed to maybe zombie celebrities or something. I'm very curious about that one, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below about that. All right, and then next up, uh, that, those are all fun houses and the scares, and uh, then the terror tram, of course, and they are all labeled lovely on the map right there. But the scare zones, well, three of them in the same locations as they have been the past few years. The shows, very interesting, the shows are, um, they have the Jabberwockies label, or the, the special effects stage bookmarked there, but I went over and I DM'd the, uh, tweet or the poster, and he said that's just a placeholder. Version 2, it should be updated with the proper show location, probably in the Universal Plaza area, as that's going an extensive re refurb, probably for a small stage, because special effects... It's still scheduled to be demolished, and as at first I was a little scared. I'm like, wait, really? It's gonna be a show there? But he said, no, that's just a placeholder because there's no location for a show at this time. But there will be a show. They just don't know where it's going to be. So, version two should have an updated location for that show. Attractions that will be open are Jurassic World, Revenge of the Mummy, Transformers, Simpsons Ride, Forbidden Journey, and Flight of the Hippogriff. No, Super Nintendo World will not be open during this year's Halloween Horror Nights. No. If it is some kind of Luigi's Mansion theme, maybe during later in a few years, that would be awesome. But right now, of course, it's not going to be open during this year's Halloween Hornets. But I'm sure they'll, they'll have their own little Christmas theme going on there as they do in Japan. So it'll be open for Christmas and the holidays at Universal. What do you guys think of all these mazes in the Tertram and the rides and all that good stuff? This event seems like it's a good event. Some mazes are kind of eh, some are pretty excited. I'm excited for. Um, again, this is just version one. Things will definitely change as it's only March. Event starts all the way in September. So that's my take on the rumored Halloween Horror Nights mazes. Again, this is just version one of the spec map. There'll be multiple versions. Um, so subscribe to get those latest versions as they come out in the coming months. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the rumored mazes? Let me know in the comments below. As always, have a fantastic or spooky day.